Nick here with Computer Upgrade King. Welcome to our product teardown for the MSI GE65 Raider 051. This unit is a 15.6 inch full HD with a 240 hertz display. We've got our i7-9750 and a RTX 2070 graphics card. This is the new line. In dismantling this unit, we're gonna need one Phillips head screwdriver, a pry tool of either a flat orientation or a pick orientation. And the parts we're gonna be upgrading are two terabyte mechanical hard drive and a one terabyte NVMe. So to start with the dismantling, we wanna take out the back screws. Make sure you always puncture the factory seal. There's always gonna be a screw under there. All these screws on the back are the same size, so you don't have to separate them out by size. Some of the openings for these screws are a little bit deep, so you may actually need a longer screwdriver to get in there. All right, we're ready for disassembly. I like to use a flat pick, kind of like a guitar pick. Start up at the thin seam here. I'm going to start gently prying open the lid. Careful not to damage any of the clips. So now we have the front popped. We can go to the side. This one's a little tight, so what we can do is go to the back hinge Pop this open a little bit. And take our pick behind here. Loosen the hinge up. Okay. Come here. Yes, here. Okay. So, audio ports are on the left, so you're going to want to angle towards the left lightly. Okay. There's the top panel. Here's your parts. First thing, remove the battery. Battery lifts right up, no screws. So, what we're looking at here, we're going to be upgrading our hard drive. They have included the hard drive bracket already screwed into the unit. So we take these two screws out here and here. MSI also likes to put a little blank here to cover up the port. So you just gotta peel that up. Reveals the ports underneath. In the unit comes a bag with two screws in it. These two screws are going to be used to attach the hard drive to the mounting bracket. So we can see the hard drive mounts face up. So we have this underneath. Get our screws. And the adhesive strip. Okay. So we slide this in. Now you do have your wireless cable here, so you're going to want to make sure you lift up underneath that. You don't want to be crushing the cable. Okay. Now screwing it back in. Again, careful around the... If these end up popping off, you can just take the tape and pop them right back on. That's no problem at all. This should lay here just fine. Now the NVMe. So we already have one installed here. We're gonna remove that. One screw. There's gonna be some thermal pads underneath, so if you wanna gently pry that up, it'll pop right up. Depending on the width of your NVMe, if you're looking at the single-sided, you can go ahead and reapply your thermal pads to that. If you're looking at a double-sided NVMe, it will be too thick to close with the pads on it. So, upgraded NVMe, screw back in. We have our NVMe stall. We can go ahead and throw our battery back in. And we'll just do a quick overview of the rest of the components that are in this machine. So, under this flap, we have the RAM. Two modules here. This flap kit is just a little adhesive and then the RAM just comes out. Top one, bottom one. 
these can be upgraded as well we are not upgrading them today but this is the process bottom one has to go in first then the top stick and then the flap lays over it for heat protection here you have your speakers these are removable so one here one here they both plug into the same point you got your usb ports on the side here on the side here as well audio ports ethernet here's your fans that cool your unit they plug in directly to the board your heat sink which is cooling your cpu gpu and then your wireless card here which of course provides you with the wireless options for your laptop and that's about it for this unit so no board flip nothing is underneath there so we've finished installing all the upgrades at this point we're going to go ahead and throw our back panel back on again audio ports are going to be the most important part to clip in first so we'll go from here slide the ports in there we go and then make sure all the clips are closed no seam now let's put the screws back in again screws are all the same size one particular thing you can note is that you can reset your CMOS battery right here with a small paper clip what you're going to want to do is press and hold for a few seconds that's an option you can do without having to take the back panel off something I like about these new laptops is there's a lot of heat flow here the whole back is open so these heat pipes have room to breathe And we have successfully upgraded our new MSI unit. If you're looking for different spec configurations or personalization to your machine, be sure to check out our extensive customization options on our website, including upgrades to your CPU, graphics card, RAM, storage, laser etching, and much more. Be sure to check out the product link in the description or leave a comment down below if you have any questions for us here at Computer Upgrade King. This has been Nick. Thanks for again for spending some time with us today and watching the MSI GE65 Raider 051 Teardown. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future product teardowns and reviews.